What's going on everyone, Steven here from TechMaker. In this video, we're going to start working on a React application uh, that's basically gonna be an NFT bookstore. If you've been following along with the channel, you'll know that this idea came from a podcast that I heard uh, with Mark Cuban. He outlined at least some thoughts about the idea of a ebook store where the ebooks are NFTs, basically. So a little bit of housekeeping up front because we've already done part of this series that is the smart contracts, which actually make up the NFTs. We've created some kind of base contracts in Solidity, which is a language on the Ethereum network um, for creating smart contracts. If you're not interested in that, uh, just ignore that um, if you just want to like focus on the React. So what I'm aiming to do here is create a series that does two things. I want to help people learn React if that's what you're interested in. And I also want to give you some exposure to some Web 3.0 technologies that are coming out and that are already out. Uh, for example, um, we're going to be interacting with the smart contracts that we've already written. And at some point, uh, we haven't finished the contract, so at some point I'll have to pause the React series and go back and work on those smart contracts a little bit. Um, and you can do that or not. You can just wait until they're done and then pull down that new code and, and whatever. So the Web 3.0 part of this is really just interacting with the smart contracts that are deployed. Um, so that's really the two things, is learning React JS uh, from the ground up, so this should be fairly beginner-friendly and uh, also learning some Web 3.0 stuff, which if you're interested in anything related to blockchain or crypto, which a lot of people should be, um, this should give you some exposure to that so you can get your feet wet and see if it's for you. Um, so with all of that said, this episode specifically, what we're gonna do is just get set up with our project uh, so that we can start building out our React app in the next episode. One last thing to point out up front, I do think that the setup here will be slightly more complicated than you're probably used to if you're not used to doing like more uh, crypto kind of stuff, just because we have to set a few things up that you probably don't have. Uh, so my only suggestion is it's worth it if you've got the patience to stick it out. Uh, just go all the way through the video and there will probably be some things that you don't understand that get glossed over a little bit. That's fine. Um, just stick with the series and hopefully by the end of it you have a really good grip on all the different things that are going on. Uh, so with that said, let's just get into it. So if you followed along with any other React tutorials, you've probably seen something in the command line like create React app blah 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 and that's great if you're creating just a standalone react um, as i said this is going to be a web3 powered uh, project which the react code is essentially going to be the same um, but we're going to have some other tools incorporated and to make that easier we're going to use this tool called truffle suite well it's really a suite of tools and um, we can install this uh, let's see here um, what you really want to focus on is Truffle, and so you can npm install Truffle, and so on and so forth. Um, I'll leave, there's a lot of videos that explain installing Truffle and so on, so I will leave that to you. It's pretty straightforward. But once you have it installed, I think you should be able to say Truffle version over here and uh, figure out which version you're running. And so this is everything that I'm currently running. Um, and uh, we'll need to update this Solidity compiler thing in a minute, but don't worry about that. Um, so basically, once you get to this point, you should be ready to go. Um, so what I'm gonna do is pull up um, the React Truffle box. So Truffle has these handy boxes you can use um, to actually uh, set up a project that's sort of pre-configured for different things. So what I wanna do is unbox this React project. So you'll need to install Truffle globally for that to work. One other thing that I forgot to mention, over here in the suite, you're gonna to need to download this Ganache and uh, it's gonna prompt you for whatever platform you're on, probably. It's telling me Mac because I'm on a Mac. Um, basically what this is, and again, like if you're not interested in smart contract development and stuff, you won't need this much. Um, but basically what this is, is a self-contained 
blockchain that will run on your computer. And so when we're working with the smart contracts that we've written, they're going to run on that blockchain. Um, so it's sort of like running a server on your computer or a database, or whatever. It's just running a, a blockchain on your computer. So you'll need to get that going. And uh, I'll need to start mine up in a minute because I don't think it is. Um, and But let's go ahead and uh, kick this off. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to make a new directory called app. And I'm going to change it down into app. And then in here, what I want to do is truffle unbox react. And this may take a minute. Um, let's see when it starts up. And I'll go ahead and pause the video. Okay, so as you can see, that finished. And I'm going to just try to run uh, some of these commands. And so the truffle docs are just saying compile and migrate, but you have to say truffle compile. So we'll say truffle compile here. And uh, let's just see what it does. And uh, once that's done, we'll try to migrate, but I think it's going to tell me that I don't have a chain running. Uh, so I just kind of like to go through things and show you how it doesn't work um, yeah so could not connect to your ethereum client so basically uh, let me open up my applications sorry I'm on a different window over here um, let me pull this over um, so I'm just gonna run Ganache here and uh, if you followed along elsewhere hold on, I opened it up on the other screen there we go. Uh, you'll recognize this. So, but we can just click this quick start Ethereum. And basically all this does, and if you're not familiar with crypto, this may look totally unfamiliar and that's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, but if you're curious, basically what it's doing, it's giving us uh, 10 Ethereum accounts. They're pre-populated with 100 Ether that we can use. So we will uh, be making a little bit of use of that later. Um, don't need that anymore. Um, so now let's try to run this uh, same command again, truffle migrate, and see what happens. And hopefully it actually works this time. Okay, cool. So as you can see, we've basically deployed everything. Um, I, I kind of went through this earlier in a different series maybe, but reading through what this is is useful if you're into the smart contract side of things for sure. Um, but for now, I'm just going to skip past because I'm mostly worried about getting the React stuff set up. So what I'm going to do is say CD client, and as you can see, I'm just following along. I'm in step five on the right side of the screen right now. Um, and then here, let's just do npm run start, and hopefully everything is good, and this opens up something in our browser over here. Um, okay, so it's telling me... I'm gonna allow, okay, and it's prompting me loading Web3 accounts and contract, and it's opening up MetaMask, which makes me think um, we probably need to install MetaMask if you haven't. Where'd that go? So mine's locked right now, but at least we know, okay, React is set up. So MetaMask, is a really and don't get overwhelmed if if you're thinking oh my god i'm just here to learn react um there's a lot of other stuff here but it's really not that hard once we get past a few little things so just bear with me um but uh yeah metamask is just a chrome extension um and so you'll just look this up and install it from metamask.io so you want to make sure you get the Chrome extension. They may have some other things you can download. So be sure to get the Chrome extension. That's the main thing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign into mine off camera and see what that does if I refresh the page. Okay, so I've signed into my MetaMask up here. Um, I'm on the Polygon network right now, which isn't right. So what we want to actually do, and if I refresh here, it's gonna be unhandled rejection, doesn't have address set yet. Okay, so what we want to do is, first of all, if we open up MetaMask, you can change networks by clicking on this. And you'll see here that it gives you the option of localhost 8545. And that would seem like it's the right thing, but it's not. So if we come over here to Ganache, 
you can see we have this RPC server, which is on 127.0.0.1.7545. So what we want to do is just copy that. And then over here, not there, I want to add a network, custom RPC maybe. So what I want to do is say, uh, let's call this Ganache, and we'll give it that RPC URL. And then we need a network ID, which is going to be this 5777. And let's give the symbol, does this come with a, a symbol? Uh, no, I think we can just call it like ETH, for example. And we don't need a block explorer, so we'll just save that. The endpoint returned a different chain ID. Um, maybe let's try that 1337 and see what it does. Maybe the network ID, that chain ID is currently in use. 5777. Hmm. Let's see. So I did a really quick Google off camera and it does not seem like, um, well, it seems like this localhost 8545 is already using that chain ID and it doesn't like that. So I think what I'm going to do is, let's try this. Let's go over here to settings. Let's go to network. So to get, I kind of quick, clicked quickly. Um, so what I'm going to do is click on this top deal and I'm going to come down to settings at the bottom. I'm going to go to networks. I'm going to go to localhost 8545. And over here, this is 7545. So I'm just going to change this to be localhost 7545 in the name. And then the RPC URL, I'm going to say 7545. And we're going to click save and go back. Okay. So. Now it looks like I'm connected to localhost 7545. And if I refresh, um, I don't know why it's prompting me to do a transaction. I'm just going to reject that. But it's saying, good to go. Your truffle box is installed and ready. OK, so it's telling us to try something. So let's go ahead and try it. Um, let me open a new tab here. And I'm not going to update yet. CD, Projects, TechMaker, Episodes, Bookstore, App. Um, that should be good. And then we'll open that up. And it's telling us to go to 42 on App.js. Uh, let's see, Client, um, Public, maybe. Where is App.js? Source, App.js. OK. Go to line 42, and we'll set, uh, not sure what I'm meaning to, to do here. Set five. If your contract is compiled and migrated successfully, below will show its stored value of five by default. Mine's saying stored value of zero. That's interesting. So, huh. So I've done a lot of like smart contract stuff recently, but this is my first time playing with this truffle box. So we're going to discover this together a little bit. Um, but this looks like what's happening is it's trying to pull from accounts zero. So accounts zero is going to be this account here. And it, it, you can see I have a transaction count of Four. If I refresh, uh, I'm going to reject that. I don't think that's got anything to do with this number. I don't think it's sending anything on that. Um, but the, the point is, this code is referencing accounts zero, which is the first one in this list. And I'm not I don't have that account set up so let me get the private key and as you can see if you see anything in this series don't use it because this is for development purposes only I'm going to copy that 
And back in my MetaMask, what I wanna do is add a new account. And so I'm gonna say import account. And I'm just gonna say import. And so now I've got account six with 99.99 .99 ETH on this network. So one thing that I do is like, I don't have any real money or crypto on this computer at all, other than maybe like a very, very small amount that I've used for testing in the past because I don't wanna get mixed up and start sending money between accounts that I shouldn't. So that's just a tip. Um, if you're actually importing these accounts into your MetaMask, uh, be very careful if you have real money in a different account because um, you don't want to mix up keys from your testing like I'm doing. Like I've actually shown this key on video now, so if I actually sent money into this account, that would be a real problem. So anyway, what I want to do now is just refresh this page. And now... Um, saying I have insufficient balance. I don't have the correct account connected. Let me reject this. I think what's happening is that this uh, code, sorry for the sidetrack here. I just wanna make sure I get all this set up correctly. I think this is actually uh, executing a transaction when we refresh the page, and that's why I'm getting prompted every time. Um, so what I want to do is actually come over here and I can click on this not connected and say connect. And so now my account six that's imported has been connected and it should be the active one. So now if I refresh, okay, confirm and the stored value is five. Okay. So now everything is set up correctly and we can change this to be like 23 and save it. And then if we come over here it's gonna prompt me to confirm, and now the value is 23. Okay, so if you've made it this far, that means you've gone through a fairly complicated little setup, um, but at this point we have a React app, um, which will I'll need to read through this, because again, I haven't used this box before, um, so, but it seems to be the, the right place to start if you wanna do Truffle with our smart contracts. Um, so we've got a React app set up, and we've played around with it a little bit. You should have MetaMask set up. You should have a Ganache set up, and uh, we should be ready to rock. So in the next episode, what we're going to do is actually start working out, uh, setting up a basic user interface. And then in the following episodes, we'll start integrating with our smart contracts that we developed previously. So I'll link to those uh, a bit later, so you don't need to worry about it just yet. Also, if you are interested in the smart contract tutorials, I'll link to the full playlist down in the description. So if you made it this far, I really appreciate you watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already uh, so that you don't miss out on anything that we're posting and I'll talk to you later.